Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Haley has a night off. Thanks so much for joining us. Our top story tonight, some frightening numbers have just been released by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office regarding the area's heroin epidemic. There's been a big spike in heroin overdoses in Sarasota County over the last month. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us now with more on the problem. Rick? Yes, Scott, heroin is a major problem here in Sarasota County. The numbers are in and they are alarming. It's striking the rich, the poor, and people of all ages. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says since July 1st, there have been 38 suspected heroin-related overdoses with seven deaths in Sarasota County. Since June of last year, there are 132 overdoses, including 17 deaths. What could be to blame is synthetic drugs being mixed in with the heroin. People don't know what drugs they're getting. Uh, sometimes they get pure fentanyl, which will kill you by itself. Uh, but now you're seeing car fentanyl, which is more powerful than fentanyl. PJ Brooks knows firsthand just how significant of a problem this is on the Sun Coast. He helps oversee the First Step Addiction Recovery Programs. It's very frightening because of the, uh, the, the potency of the drugs that are being injected are so high. We're being told that the potentially deadly drugs are being brought into Florida from Mexico by way of China. Sheriff deputies say that the number of heroin deaths would be much higher, but since they now have the naloxone equipment, they've been able to save many lives. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says they will continue to fight this heroin epidemic very aggressively. A big part of the push will be through awareness. There's not one solution. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a multifaceted uh, effort. Uh, to include, you know, state government, the federal government. Experts in the field of addiction believe they have some of the answers in beginning to solve this crisis. We need to support access to treatment. We need to ensure that these people can get the help they need so that they can break the cycle. And if you or someone you know needs help, you can get more information by logging onto our website at mysuncoast.com. Scott, back to you. All right, Rick, thank you.